Hi guys, it's Arnie and this is long waited Alliance Quest Map 5 Day 5 full run with a Morning Star uh, boss fight, the second one, and also do Mammoth fight. And here I'm using a 4 star champion, Lucage is a 5 star, but I want 3. So let's do it. First one is a Sentinel, and they are pretty annoying. Come on, make them a little bit easier. And best champions, champion against uh, Sentinels are Medusa, so when you use Medusa, shatter the armor and it's pretty much game over for Sentinel. You will hit hard, they won't get any power, they won't get uh, their analysis and the fight is going to be pretty easy. You see here Medusa just going through him without any issues. And we're done. Very quick fight, day 5, let's move. I'm taking path 1 and we're going to face another sentinel and just skip this fight because it's the same sentinel and we're moving on to the next one. Here I thought is going to be Venom but it was Mr. Groot. So I speed things up because when you fight with Wolverine against Groot it will take a lot of time because Wolverine is not a really hard hitter and without bleed <laughs> it just takes time. A great thing about Wolverine and Medusa in Alliance Quest, they have synergy and it increases their uh, critical uh, rating, critical chance, sorry. So it allows Wolverine to hit a little bit, a bit harder. But Mr. Groot is a very easy champion. I'm not pushing him over two bars of power, I don't want to trigger his region. So I'm playing with. A little bit safe here, baiting his special ones. You see here, Wolverine is <laughs> not doing much damage, but the fight is going pretty good. I still have a lot of time uh, to finish the fight, and with any Mystic Champion, with Mystic Dispersion, I can finish this fight so quick. I did put Buddha with 5 hits, 4 hits, sorry, <laughs> around 4 hits. So, pretty cool, and he's down. This is all for section 1 and I'm moving on to section 2, I check the paths and I'm going to take path number 6, it's a science path, we have abomination there, we have yellow jacket there and we have a pretty good symbiote here and this is a quick tip for you guys, especially if you don't use Medusa. When you uh, apply debuff on this sentinel, it can apply, apply on you two other debuffs, so if you have willpower this sentinel actually can heal you up, so this is a quick tip, use it, if you lost some health, apply some debuffs on him, you see here, and I got those two debuffs on me, and this just feeding my uh, willpower, and I'm getting health, you see here, I managed to intercept me, but it's okay. Again, is not so hard to beat the Sentinel, but I don't like how they move. They move too slow and it's pretty annoying. But Medusa, I got a lot of We're moving on to next one. The next one is Abomination and Medusa, she's a poison immune. So she's a great for Alliance Quest. Also for map 6, 4 star, 5 star. Uh, when I fight against Abomination, I hate his SP2, it's something clutchy with the animation and therefore I'm trying to keep him on one bar of power. And with Medusa, once I'm shattered the armor, most of my hits, I think all of my hits are just uh, light attacks because with light attacks she have a chance to apply bleed, a permanent bleed as long as you have the armor shattered. Come on, come on, trigger your specials. And sometimes AI just won't trigger any specials. Just standing there. And I'm like, oh, come on, now SP3. And I managed to bait his SP2. Evaded it perfectly. And we are moving on. Another armor shutter. And this abomination is so defensive, it's just so annoying. See? Ah, standing there, blocking. 
Come on, Medusa. All I need to reach is two barrels of power with the armor shatter and game over. Medusa is one, ch I think, only one champion with such a smooth animations. Now it's a yellow jacket. It's a linked one, but let's have some fun. We're having fun in Lion's Quest, and his link is just increases health. Maybe at also attack, but I think it's only health. I also increase the speed of this fight because it's going to be a pretty long fight. When you fight with Wolverine against him, it's pretty good. I'm usually pushing Yellow Jacket over two bars of power. This much easier to evade than SP1. You see here, two bars of power, Wolverine with huge bleed. And in order to evade the SP2, you just dash back twice and then dash back away again and in order to evade sp1 you need to keep a distance of at least one uh, dexterity from the opponent but even if i block here his specials i will regenerate them because wolverine is a generation machine and breed machine this y kabam i think will never make him as a five star because he will be 10 times better than Blade or any other champion because just imagine Wolverine is a rank 5 champion with all his bleed stacks and regeneration he will be unstoppable the fight is almost over it's a pretty long fight it's already more than 100 hits I could have waited to Link to be removed but you know again having fun in Alliance Quest yeah, almost, almost. Come on, some more bleeds. And almost 130 hits. A lot of hits for, for map 5. And this is going to be another Sentinel. And I'm just skipping this fight because it's again the same Sentinel as before. And here we are facing Electro. And Electro pretty easy champion to fight especially with Wolverine I'm not triggering my specials with Electro when he have his uh, one bar of power do four hits dash back you need to keep a distance otherwise his SP1 will reach you now also not pushing him over two bars of power because if you will trigger it and you won't be able to evade it, oh boy, game over for you. Wolverine, I'm not worried at all, uh, I'm not proking a lot of regeneration, but it's still, it's still enough to get back the shock damage. And almost done, I'm triggering my special, you know what, let's finish it. And Electro is down, we're moving on. The next one and Wolverine is doing pretty amazing job here you see I'm trying to use uh, both my champions here I'm keeping Luke Cage for morning star and Mamo. and now we we'll have another fight just before the amazing morning star fight and this is going to be a crossbones and also not a tough opponent but you need to be careful with crossbones he can shrug your parries off or your bleed stacks so it's just be careful with his parries, pure parries sorry because if you will shrug it off it's immediate, it can just hit you like a truck. But with Wolverine I'm not afraid. Let's make him bleed. The fight is almost done, almost ended. Just few more hits and now... He just won't trigger his specials. I'm like, okay, what should I do? Should I push him over two bars of power or not? I'm trying to bait his special. Come on, be nice, be nice, trigger your SP2. And then he triggered his sorry SP1 and a few more hits. And again. Now I decided, you know what, let's push him, let's just try to kill him. And now we trigger his special, one, two, three, <laughs> he didn't die. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to next fight. And next one 
is going to be Luke Cage versus Morningstar. Papa Cage against the Lady Death, I think, itself. And this is a second Morningstar. She has 100% power gain and also unblockable SP2 because of her abilities. And when you fight her, you with Luke Cage, you want to apply those debuffs as much as you can. Each debuff will increase his attack. And this is pretty amazing. And also with Luke Cage, you have this uh, indestructible mode if you do a mistake. So this will help you. And now I'm playing very, very aggressively here. I'm also evading her SP2, you see here. It's not so hard to evade her SP2, it looks hard, but it, honestly, it's just like evading uh, Cyclops SP1. You need to dash back just when she stands up. So, with Cyclops, it's just when he moves forward with his uh, head, and with her, just when she stands up, you're dashing back. Come on, Luke Cage. So. All the fight is over and she's still above 70% health. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to increase, increase it. I need to play much, much aggressively. And I'm trying to reach 3 bars of power because after SP3, Luke Cage with heat like a real, real track here. He will apply a lot of debuffs. So let's go. I can't believe it. One champion who was a garbage for almost more than three years and suddenly Kaban did small change to his abilities and boom he became a freaking god tier champion it's not god tier but demi god tier he hits like a truck here and in this alliance quest you will see also him against Durmamo and see what he can do so we're getting some good crits here 59 seconds left I need to play even more aggressively than before. Come on Morningstar, I don't want to time out. This is this is a sad thing. With Morningstar it's very easy to time out if you play too safe. If you're not if you're only trying to bait her SP2, you just don't have time for it. And I think this is what Kabam tried to do here. They tried to make it a little bit harder uh, for the player. You will need to do to push your two bars of power. Pay attention here, so many crit hits. Nine debuffs, come on. Okay, 70 seconds, 17 seconds left. Come on, go, go. Okay, Luke Cage is doing a minute, 10 seconds. And let's see, let's see. And Luke Cage did it. Pretty amazing Luke Cage. I can't believe it, this happened. I wish Kaban will fix some other garbage champions. And now we're moving on to last section, and last section, I'm taking path number one, we'll have Magic here, Hood, Dr. Voodoo, also buffed Abomination, and Yellow Jacket. So this is a Mystic Sentinel, and again for Sentinels I'm bringing my amazing Medusa, again trying to, to armor shatter him, and once I'm shatter the armor, it's just like... Come on, game over, just trigger your SP1 and let's finish the fight. And <laughs> he won't trigger his special, finally he did it. And now Medusa can do whatever she wants. Such an amazing champion. So, Sentinels, if you don't have Medusa, there are many options to find Sentinels, any armor shot, uh, armor breaking champion like Thor, even Spider Man Symbiote can work, even Wolverine can work here because they made Sentinels much, much easier now. And we're moving on to next one, and next one is a pretty buff magic. And She's easy, but the only issue with her is her power gain, it's by 50% I think. So what I'm trying to do here, I have Pacify Mastery, and if you're familiar with Pacify Mastery, if it's if you don't, when you stun your opponent, uh, they re it reduces their ability by, if you have 3 points of Pacify, by 30%. So what I'm trying to do here, 
I'm trying to parry magic just before one bar of power, this will reduce chances for limbo, but as you can see here, it's not always working. And with uh, with Wolverine it's pretty amazing because his regeneration can help you and this is the reason why I'm not triggering my special while fighting magic. I'm trying to regenerate the lost health here and also the bleed, the bleed should help me. You see how much damage this limbo takes now, so magic She's a pretty easy champion, but this power gain makes her pretty annoying. And you see no limbo and pacify mastery helps a lot here uh, to fire this magic. See even with limbo I'm continuing to attacking because I do want to trigger my regeneration. Here she managed to clip me, but it's all okay. She below 50% health. And the dangerous thing that I am near the corner, so I need to be more careful here. And I'm losing health, she just won't die. And I decided, you know what? Let's see, maybe I should go full power. And I'm at the corner, and you know what? Let's just try to finish her. So, few bleeds. SP3 and she's down. You need to be patient with this fight, but it's not a hard fight. And next one is a very, very buffed hood. And at Wolverine, it can take ages, so I'm bringing Papa Cage here. Come on, let's do some amazing job here. And again, I still, still can't believe that Luke Cage. Is an amazing option. I think he also great for map six for bleed path. Can do a lot of damage there. Carl tops path at section number three. And here in destructible mode, just save me and I will share with you a quick tip while fighting Dormammu and in destructible mode. This is I think it will help you. So again the same strategy, I'm going to push you or push Luke Cage or 3 bars of power, trigger my SP3 to hit much much harder. Let's go, let's go! Oh, <laughs> my, my battery is uh, running out but it's okay, I have 20%, it's enough to complete Lion's Quest. Now with all those debuffs. Let's see, let's see, come on Luke Cage, come on. And with Luke Cage is very similar like Medusa, you don't want to uh, finish with heavy medium attacks, you want to do all light attacks because light attacks applies those debuffs. And the fight was over pretty fast and now we're moving on to Dr. Voodoo. And this is a teamwork, so now it's Wolverine's time to clear this one. And I really like to play with all my champions in the Lion's Quest and not only one champion. Because, not theoretically, but I can clear everything with Wolverine or bring any rank 4 champion clear because my 5 is not so not so hard. But it's, it's much, much, much entertaining to play with other champions, with all champions that you have with you. And Dr. Voodoo is almost, also almost down. I got some helpful Wolverine, but I don't need Wolverine anymore for this, for the last part of this Alliance quest. And this is again Abomination, a little bit buffed one, with much more health and attack than previous one. Come on, you know the strategy guys, right? We're going to shatter the armor, make him bleed. And this fight is going to be over soon. Of course, with a 5 star, if I had brought my rank 4 Medusa, the fight would have ended much faster. But I want to show you guys that if you have also a 4 star Medusa, she's good enough for map 5 and also for map 6, I must say. You don't really need a 5 star. 5 star can help you, but. Forests are still relevant to this game, uh, much less than before, but still, there are many four stars that 
uh, their duped ability is much better than any 5 star unduped or even 6 star champion that unduped. I would take 4 star Medusa over 6 star uh, Iron Fist any day. We're moving on and this is one fight because before the Dumamo fight and this is Yellow Jacket and very buffed Yellow Jacket and also unblockable SP1 so here we need to be a little bit careful uh, you need when you have almost one bar of power do only 4 hits dash back and try to bait his uh, SP1 always try to keep a distance of 1 dexterity The armor is shattered, you see I very it SP1 And now let's apply those breathe C4 hits, dash back, trigger SP1, I managed to evade We are continuing And now SP2, uh, pay attention to how many bleed stacks And I'm finishing also with light attack, I want to keep my bleed on him I'm paying the attention to my distance, I don't want to get hit by his SP1. Basically if he will hit you with SP1, it's pretty much game over. If you want trigger special, you will go into stun mode. You can play with it if you have high limber. You can try to parry him just before you enter the stun mode and then you will survive it. Uh, this helped me a lot of time. I don't have a high limber but mastery but uh, in some quest he managed to hit me with SP1 I parried him just before uh, the time runs out I dashed back and I also was stunned so we both were stunned and this helped me to survive it come on he almost down 12% left I'm also in assassin range and I'm playing a little bit safe here I don't want to get caught with his SP1 Come on yellow jacket 2% And the fight is over And now we are moving on to the last fight of this alliance quest Luke Cage vs Map 5 Last boss Drumamo Let's go, let's go So this is a heal block node and I really don't care about it. I'm trying to keep Drumamo with one bar of power and not two and you will see soon what I will go to do when we'll have a two bars of power. Come on Mr. Drumamo, be nice with your specials. Uh, Drumamo have a lot of health here, a lot of health. I know I'm I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to take him take him out with one shot if I had 6 star Luke Cage or rank 4 Luke Cage it probably could work but let's see now my SP3 boom boom and boom come on Mr. Luke Cage now 6 debuffs come on trigger special I don't want them to expire Okay, 5, so now every hit above 1000 damage And it's light attacks guys, it's light attacks With huge, now 70 buffs And Luke Cage is hitting hard It's very very fun, so with Star Lord Star Lord still a god against very long fights I'm playing as aggressively as I can just to do as much damage as I can here come on come on Rumamo be nice yes sp1 and uh, let's punish him I am really interested to see, see who will be the next alliance quest boss as they, they Usually at this time of year they changing the alliance quest and we are still waiting for new changes.
come on, come on, boom, boom, boom. And Romamo, you were a naughty boy, and Papa Cage will punish you. Come on, let's go. The fight is going pretty good. I'm playing very aggressively here. Come on, come on, Luke Cage. 15 seconds left. Let's see what I can do. Come on. Luke Cage managed to take a lot of help from Dumamo for one round. And this is the second round. Let's see how it goes. So Luke Cage, I'm really impressed with his abilities. Pretty cool champion. Hits like a truck now. It's very fun to play with him now. And soon guys, you will see what I'm going to do with SP2. With Dumamo's SP2. And this may help you in different areas of the game. This is a small strategy. When you have issues to evade your opponent's specials, guess what? You don't need to evade them. If you have your indestructible mode, so it will work. So Luke Cage will still take a block damage and it will reduce health. Because indestructible won't prevent it. But when you well, but if it's direct damage Luke Cage can survive so pay attention I'm not blocking at all I don't care about blocking my indestructible will save me if I block this I will probably die and this this was pretty cool, a good decision I think your mom almost down this was a full run of alliance quest Morningstar, Rumamo, all paths all sections if you like this video click here to subscribe like share if you have questions about map 5, which champions to bring, any questions regarding paths, feel free to comment below and see you soon guys on my next video.